Oh, shit, it's one of those. Okay. <laughs> We're all adults here, right? Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to ask questions throughout the night. It's a sobriety check. I get it. If you're too sober, you don't answer. So you all need to fucking drink. Oh. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, there, there will be, I, I really shouldn't have to say this because we all just agreed we are all adults. There will be cursing, mostly from me. <laughs> I used to say fuck every other word. I made it through the last three years of the army just saying fuck and another word. Like, hey, Sergeant Cruz, you gotta go to the back of the chow line. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> hey, Sergeant Cruz, we got ditches we need done. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> oh, Sergeant Cruz, we got your discharge papers. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> now, I had fun in the military, as you can tell by the haircut. Um, it was a blast. I had been, you know, uh, I've been living out of my car for a year, you know. I was just being issued parking tickets. I heard in the military, they issue food, they issue clothes, they issue a place to sleep, you know. I was ready to kill for a better spot. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but it was fun. I, I, I learned a lot in the Army. I learned that they taught me how to use a rifle because America, fuck job. You know, I had already known how to use a pistol because America, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they taught me about preventing biological contamination. Hint, wear a condom. Um, uh, <laughs> they taught me how to be impatiently patient. And that's when you sit there and you you got you, you go through the process, you wait the amount of time you're supposed to, but you talk shit about it the whole time you're waiting. I perfected that art so well it got me into trouble in the corporate world because they thought all my mumbles were serious. <laughs> I'm just going by my training. That's I don't know, I, 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 learned, I learned five different languages in the Army, but I did, you know, that was on my own. I did that for extra credit because it was just enough to get late. Uh, I don't know. It was fun. I did get married when I was in the military. I was in the Army. I got married because they don't issue you a wife. You have to go find one. But, and I met this wonderful, this beautiful gal. She's beautiful, wonderful. You know, she said all the right words. You know, I'm pregnant, and so we got married, you know, and it turned out she wasn't, but I didn't care because I had a job that took me out of the house three, six, nine months out of the year, right? I never cheated on my wife. Well, the first one, the second one, all the fucking time. Never the first one, though. But somehow I ended up with gonorrhea twice. Yes, while well, I was out protecting and serving, she was back home serving without protection. You know what I'm saying, so that's what that's about. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I, and, and foolish me, I believed her excuse, right? I believed it when she said, oh, I got it from this bathroom, from this stall, in this bathroom, in this restaurant I go to. You know, shame on me for believing that the first time. I get it, I get it. But the second time, you know, the second time I had to tell her, Quit going to that fucking restaurant. God damn. <laughs> Doctors start to ask questions. I, know, I had a buddy in the military. I had a buddy in the army who was a sniper. He got out. He became this beauty. He became this wonderful photographer. But he only does headshots. I don't know. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The army. The army did. Did tell me all about STIs and taught me all about STDs, right? And a buddy of mine was having problems. He was having problems. He was pissing razor blades. And he went into the doctor and he was like, Doc, you know, I'm having problems. And he explained it to him. And the doctor goes, Well, let me take a look. And he showed him, you know, and the doctor was like, Oh my God, we got to amputate. And the guy was like, Oh, hold on, Doc. Can we get at least one more opinion on this before we go cut anything up? And they were like, Yeah, and they called in this other doctor. And the guy was like, yeah, and the doctor said, well, yeah. And the guy was like, well, doc, are they good? do you think you got to amputate? And the other doctor was like, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. The guy was like, whoo, 
And then the other doctor finished and said, no, that thing's going to fall off two, three days tough. <laughs> oh, no, the Army was fun. The Army was fun. But it was my second job. My first job was a cashier at a 7-Eleven. You know, and I, 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 I'll say this. I'm jealous of kids today. And by kids, I mean all you fuckers under 30. Oh. <laughs> Because you have access to porn 24-7. You just pull up your phone and you got naked people, right? I, if back in my day, you had to know a kid who knew a kid who had a cousin who had the combination to the fucking lockbox that held the map that told you where the porn was in the woods. <laughs> my God. You know, I bypassed all that because I was a kid who supplied the porn. I had a job <laughs> at the 7-Eleven. I had access to all the, right behind the counter. I had, full, I, you know, we had Playboy, we had Penthouse, we had Hustler. Uh, <laughs> we had Club, but nobody bought that shit. They had better pictures, but nobody bought it. <laughs> I remember this one time, I was 12, when I was working, when I started working at the 7-Eleven, I remember the one time my boss was trying to figure out new magazines to subscribe to. And he was going down the list, and he goes, Judge. And I was like, yeah, I like Judge. I'm on board. I'm 12. And he goes, oh, I don't know. That one just looks like a bunch of overweight white women. And I'm going, I don't have a type yet. I'm on board. <laughs> oh, it's fun. It's fun. Well, we're going to do some more talking. I think.